Hey, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. I was about to lay down and something said Sagittarius hasn't had a reading in a while. So I got up to do a reading for you Sagittarius because you guys rock and you deserve one from me. You've been so wonderful. You've been so faithful and I love you guys so much. Alright Spirit, how do you want to start this reading out? Let's find out what virtues Spirit's working on, Sagittarius. Virtues, Holy Spirit, through the sign of Sagittarius. The song that came through was You Didn't. I, I Fell in Love, But You Didn't by Brett Young. Uh, we'll see. I thought I saw a card turn over. I'm having trouble shuffling them. Spirit, please help me. That might be them. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of them too. Patience. Contentment. Humility. Patience. Contentment. Humility, love, loyalty, compassion, half the deck, honesty, good grief, Sagittarius. Spirit's putting you through it, baby. And gratitude. This is a lot of beautiful virtues that are working in your life. When you see this many virtues working in somebody's life, Spirit is up to amazing things. You are up to amazing things. Being patient. Being content with what you have. Being humble. Having love with loyalty, compassion, honesty, and gratitude. That is truly, truly beautiful, Sagittarius. Absolutely beautiful. Whether you have achieved those or you're just working towards achieving them, that is amazing. <coughs> All right, let's see what kind of healing you need this week. Healing for my Sagittarian spirit. What healing do the Sagittarians in this collective need? You need help from above. Pay attention to the signs. Temptation and soulmate. All right, and your family and tribe also need healing, Sagittarius. Your family and tribe. All right. Beautiful. So, you're being tempted maybe by a soulmate or a twin flame and you already have a husband. That could be what I'm seeing here. Something's tempting you and... It looks like you, you may already be married. Let's see how the overall tarot energy is working in your life. Using, using the black deck. Okay, Spirit. Spirit said use the black deck. We'll use the black deck. All right, overall tarot energy working in Sagittarius' life. The fool came out, Sagittarius. You're ready to try something new. You're, to, you're ready to take a leap. You are about to take a leap of faith towards something new. The Hierophant in reverse on the bottom of the deck. What's the energy to overcome for Sagittarius spirit? The High Priestess. And what's going to pull this together? Whoa, that's a lot of cards. What's going to pull this together for um, Sagittarius? Spirit's talking to you, Sagittarius, through your crown chakra. You're getting downloads constantly. Whoa. Is there anything that will pull this together? <laughs> Besides that high priestess to overcome? There we go. Yeah, there's going to be a wheel. There's going to be a wheel that pulls this together. And on the bottom of the deck is Judge Upright. All right, Sagittarius. 
Now, let's see if we can find out more about what's going on here. You have help from above, and there's some signs you need to pay attention to. Let's pull a card on it. Why does Sagittarius need to pay attention to the signs? Because your higher self has activated you, and Mercury is going to give you messages, travel, and communication. We're about to go into Mercury retrograde again, I believe, in September. We may already be feeling the effects of that. I'm not sure of the exact dates. Your higher self is helping you to be attracted and hot with Mars. Your higher self is doing a lot for you right now. One more time. Talk to me about paying attention to the signs. Attraction to something hot with lack of doubt. So it's like if you're a child, you just know that you have doubt, you have lack, that, that lack of thinking. It's like card in the wrong deck. The card was flipped over. There's something going on with somebody that's at a distance from you, or they're acting distant from you. Right, spirit. Why is pay attention to the signs here, number 10 for Sagittarius? Pay attention to the signs, Sagittarius, because you're about to have a reunion with a soul tie. Why are you having, uh, why do we need to pay attention to signs about a reunion? Because it's time. It's divine time. For this person to have an ace of pentacles, a new job, a new place to live. It's time, Sagittarius. It's time to have a reunion with a soul tie. That's what it's time for. Alright. Shadow side, moon, the dark night. Hmm. Why is temptation here for Sagittarius? Because of passion and chemistry. Why is soulmate here? Because of a lot of memories you have and a lot of nostalgia. Why is family and tribe here? Because there's going to be a rebirth in the winter. What do you mean rebirth in the winter? I'm going to leave that alone, Sagittarius. Just know that there's going to be a rebirth and a loss. It's going to, it's going to be like a rejection, a loss, or fragmented. Things, things, there could be a loss in your family in, in the winter. Why is chemistry here for temptation? Because somebody's wearing a facade when it comes to their beliefs. They're healing their inner child and they're growing this summer. That's why you have to be careful of temptation. You're about to have a reunion with a soul tie. And it could be in 10 hours, 10 days, 10 minutes. Could be not September the 10th. It could be October 1st, or it could be you're you're about to have somebody has some regrets though about the temptation. Um, I'm not sure what else to say about that. Why is soulmate here with memories? Because somebody's using control tactics and they have a lot of fears and a lot of limitations. This soulmate right here is controlling and they have a lot of fears because they have a lot of history with this person. And the temptation is to wear a, wear a mask 
about healing in summer and the and healing and growth in the summer. Doing inner child work. There's there's this temptation to pretend like you're doing it and not actually doing it. Don't do that, Sagittarius. It'll be a bad idea. Alright. Why is the fool here? The fool is here because of divine feminine. Why is the high priestess here? This is the energy to overcome. Because somebody needs a, a foundation, a structure, and they need the courage to change. And right now, your intuition is very strong, but you're not using it. Alright, what do you mean they're not using it? How do, what should they do different to use it, Spirit? How can they use it here? The fall came out. Alright, what about the fall? I think you need to start forming a, a way to have a foundation in the fall. You need to see through the confusion and illusions and stay open to receive. <coughs> That's how your intuition is not helping you. You need to see that you need to start getting, gathering things. Okay, in the autumn time, the animals will gather everything they can to make themselves a home. It's time for you to start gathering. See through the illusions. Be open for, to receive from the universe. The universe wants to establish you in life and give you a place to call your own. All right, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Because you're going to get your stability. Something is going to happen that's going to bring you the stability that you need, Sagittarius. And that cycle of you um, not knowing what's going to happen next, it's going to finally be over. You're going to finally know where you're going to live, and you'll be able to settle in, and you'll be able to get... The happiness that you deserve and there's a soul tie and it's time for them to also have a place to live a new job or or new something all right why is the fool here may i see please the fool is a, a barrier all right why is the high priestess here these are the wrong cards, but nothing is an accident. The high priest is here because of a twin flame who's stuck. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Because they're being guided to return. The fifth dimension is helping to guide them to return from where they're stuck. Right now, they are observing and watching you. But you probably already knew that. Now, I'm going to get the deck I intended to get. Why is the fool here? Because of self-sabotage and nightmares. Why is the high priestess here? Because of the high priestess. Y'all, these cards are clarifying each other. The, the energy is, it's like we're very close to the, the, I don't know how to explain it. The king of wands is here in reverse with equality upright. The high priestess upright and the five of the cups in reverse so the high priestess is about a king of wands or a king of wands it could be any gender it's just a if it's a woman they're showing up if somebody who is a hard worker and is probably the breadwinner but we have a king of wands that's in reverse the equality upright the high priestess upright and a lot of hurts from the past that's what the high priestess is. This person, this king of wands, they're not using their intuition about the fact that there, there needs to be more equality and that they have to let go of these hurts. And what's the wheel going to be for this person? For this person, the wheel is going to be Sagittarius and the, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. These two people are madly in love and are sexually attracted to each other. 
that's what the wheel is here. The wheel is also about somebody, um, the 5D is in guiding somebody to return. They're returning and they're going to have stability, harmony, flow, and a lot of love making. And a lot of love making <laughs> is what it looks like to me. And there will be a tower. Clarify the tower. Wow. The tower is the moon. The six of um, wands in reverse. The eight of pentacles in reverse. And the ten of pentacles upright. So there's a sense that there's this dark energy. This secretive dark energy that's going to lead to everything. And it's going to come through work where somebody is recognized. Somebody's going to recognize how, how well this can work. It's coming through darkness. <coughs> through shadows. Clarify the um, Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, please. This is a higher font, a higher level commitment. Look, a higher level commitment with the truth. Somebody knowing the truth. Clarify this higher level commitment. Judgment is here. Somebody's seeing the truth. I'm telling you, they're seeing the truth that this can bring healing and recovery and everything. You can have everything with this person. And they know that. And look, there's the Empress again. Wow. This is just amazing. Let's see what else might come out in this reading. Let me go one round with this. How did this happen to Sagittarius Spirit? Somebody can't be trusted. They can't move on, but they and they want one last chance. Alright, what's being hidden? That somebody is shut down because they've had an epiphany. Clarify the epiphany that they've had. That they have telepathy with you. Alright, what's being shown? That somebody's going to be eliminated. Clarify elimination. Focus on yourself. Something was unintentional. Don't lose hope. This is what came out. I choose you. Practice forgiveness. This is true love. Focus on yourself. It was unintentional, so don't lose hope. And something is decided that was undecided. What's going to be the outcome? There's a player who's getting a divorce, and they're overthinking. Because of only you, Sagittarius. This person only wants you. And they're fantasizing about you also. May I have um, a message out of here, please? Finances are here. And abundance is here, Sagittarius. Anything else? Can we get something else encouraging while we're at it? Somebody has to wait. There's an awakening. They're going to back off. And they're feeling very vulnerable. Why is that important for us to know? I think that's why they can't be trusted. Because of a decision. Clarify the decision. The decision is a second chance with boundaries. Because there's a new love and they're on different pages. What's going to be the outcome of that? Self-care and what else? An apology because this is true love and it's a twin flame who has integrity and who you can trust with healing on the bottom of the deck.
for Sagittarius. You have passion, happiness, and a spirit guide. How about their person? They have strength, prosperity, protection, clarity, and compassion. When you got animals on the bottom of the deck. Alright, I want to look at one more thing. I want to look at your money. Show me what's going on with Sagittarius' money spirit. Somebody was unreliable and there's a phoenix rising. What's unreliable about? Somebody who was a helper. Made investment. Spirituality is here. Being alone is here. And patience. That's, they became unstable. Alright, what's going to be the outcome of the Phoenix Rising? They're going to do odd jobs. Outcome of these odd jobs? Beginnings, leadership, sharing, comfort, luck, promoter, beauty and celebration with unlocking more gifts and a, and a motivator clarify the luck for Sagittarius please you're going to have luck in your business outcome of that luck in the business may I see please what's the outcome of the luck keep getting a lot of cards there's somebody that's a mechanic or they're working on something a mechanic managing money getting grounded a transporter having a vehicle entertain entertainer change and unlocking so there's a mechanic somebody's managing money they're getting grounded and they're working on a car they have transportation they're an entertainer they're gonna have change and something's going to be unlocked. Clarify what's going to be unlocked. It has to do with your soul tribe being activated, angelic help, or you've had a loss. Clarify the loss. Your money came to a halt. You're growing now. The underworld is here. You're taking off and you're going to have a lot of growing up. Because you're going to make a shift to go the right way. You were going the wrong way. And you're not going to talk to anybody about this either. Anything else you want to say about this before I stop? Anything at all that you want to say? There was a, there's a conflict. Somebody was arguing with their voice. Somebody has a gift that's going to bring happiness. They're self-made and they're at a crossroads. Why are they at a crossroads? Because of gossip and real estate and a crafter. What's the gossip about the real estate spirit? That somebody at the gym is money hungry and they're going to sit back and watch while they enjoy the gossip. Why is this person at the gym money hungry? Because they're riding it out with somebody who's outdated. What else, Spirit? They're going to have a movie date. Clarify, admit one movie date. Somebody's in their feelings. There's a diamond girl who's born to shine. Somebody gave a fake apology. The police were involved. Somebody's a hater. You're staying centered and aligning yourself with the universe because of parenting. Okay, somebody's going to show their ass and get the police involved. And you're going to stand your ground and defend yourself. What's going to be the outcome of this? Fulfilling a fantasy. Kicking somebody to the curb. Because they got them recorded 
they've been under spiritual attack protect yourself and somebody's going to keep their promise to you about betrayal clarify keeping a promise they're going to stay in their ground until this game is over how's it going to end for sagittarius sagittarius for you it's going to end with the sex shop and you know exactly what that means spirit says <laughs> Somebody's insecure and they're betraying. Oh, bad, bad energy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Keep that bad energy away. All right, messages out of here. One, please, if I may, Spirit. One, please, for the sign of Sagittarius. One. One, please. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 you did not. No, you did not. One, please. One card for the sign of Sagittarius. Earth goddess. Oh, y'all, I cannot make this shit up. Earth goddess and rock star, number 44. Don't we know these by heart by now? earth goddess to live the dream you have to surrender the fantasy this can be painful it feels like the end when in fact it's the beginning one of these when the pain of the when the pain passes then the joy of what we have yearned for coming to life is left it may not be as perfect as the fantasy but it will be real and it can nourish us we can build our, our appetite for life on dreams but we cannot be fed by them the soul requires real life experiences to become fully alive, to live, ex to have experiences it, and grow. <laughs> There's a fantasy that wants to become reality for you, Sagittarius. Don't let a few gritty moments of imperfection prevent you from having the joy of heaven on earth. And then number nine for rock star. Says. Yes, I hope you couldn't see my belly sticking out while I'm at it. <laughs> my shirt was stuck all the way up. You may have a subconscious fear of being judged or becoming the target of jealousy that comes to you. That make that, why can't I read? Or of jealousy of of becoming the target of jealousy that causes you to shy away from the limelight. You may mistakenly believe that being in the spotlight means you're supposed to be perfect or better than everyone else. There's a higher purpose to standing apart from the crowd and being seen. Choose to accept the opportunities that make you more visible to others, trusting that you will shine your truth and your integrity to make it a more positive and healing experience for yourself and others too. And God knows if you had to be perfect, I sure as heck wouldn't be here doing these videos. How are the angels helping us? Wisdom, harmony, courage, sexuality, communication, and hope. One more time I'm hearing. You're going to have unity, <coughs> administration, Putting people, places, and things exactly where they need to be for your highest and greatest good. And you're going to also have blessings and a divine plan with manifestation on the bottom of the deck. All right, who are you talking to? H H R M M K N. H S K M C V R D O N F H T L F H D E R Y K I J M E H A G L P D M H R D F One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
Y E P H Y J F L I V N C X W P T K A A H F G C F U C M A P one more time S P M A M K O Think it please that would go perfectly with this reading for Sagittarius Spirit. I have a butterfly that says miracles happen, a piece of crystal, an oh, angel wing, a heart with a <clears throat> cross in it, a huge elephant, an anchor and a skeleton key, a piece of crystal, I love you more, a fancy cross, a snowflake, an elephant, an elephant, an angel, a unicorn, a mermaid, a windmill, a skeleton key, a card reader hand, a pendulum, a tree of life, a cross, dream big, you're always in my heart, two hearts connected, a family tree, a rose, a star, strong is beautiful, made with love, a crown, a palm tree, a coin, a teddy bear, and a turtle. A piece of crystal, a music note with a skull, a fancy heart, a fancy heart with a flower, a skull, a feather, a shell, a tower, some cherries, a lotus flower, a skeleton hand, a piece of um, tiger's eye, a dollar sign, never, never give up. And no matter where. All right, Sagittarius, that is your reading, baby. Let me get you a message out of the book. Message out of the Instant Magic Oracle book, please, for Sagittarius Spirit. Someone is looking at you and wishing they had what you have. Sagittarius, somebody is looking at you and wishing they had what you have. They're envious of you. Make sure you get you an evil eye, baby. And wear your evil eye. You need to protect your energy, okay? I love you guys. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. Have a wonderful night. Bye.